All right, I'm gonna go over Aztec. We're gonna go over the glass strat. I may make another video after um, explaining how to deal with the level if the glass strat fails. Um, you lose a lot of time if that happens. If you go for it and it fails, well over a minute. So it's really bad for a run, but for marathon and other things, I think it's worth covering. But um, I'm gonna make that video after this one. So you're gonna start off the level. And just tap left C a little bit. You wanna you wanna pop out enough so you can kill this guard, but the other guards don't really run around. So I like to hit that guy a couple shots in the head. Turn around, reload. I'm gonna wait here for this guard to come out. Sometimes they both come out, but if the other guy does if you only see one guard here, the other guard's probably in the corner pulling an aid, so I usually charge him. So that's one. Didn't see that guy, there he is, boom, two. I get all three ammos. Approach this. Aiming just a bit over this crack. Uh, when you open the door, you're going to zoom in immediately. You're going to headshot the guy in the hall. You're going to shoot at the guy in front of the crate with about 10 shots. Then you're just going to hold, continue to hold fire. And just run forward and kill the next two guards and make a dash for the bridge. So, one guy, two guy. 10 shots, then run forward. Got them both. Good. Run at the bridge. You can get back by these two idiots. Um... That's pretty much RNG, but when you're on this bridge, this is an invisible wall to them. You can shoot through it, but they can't see you, so you're safe from fire. The grenades can get near you, so be wary of that. That grenade was pretty good throw, so get off the bridge. Get your ammo. I like to have 30 ammo for here. Um, open the door. I like to shoot six bullets and back up real far, just to try to group all the guards well. It's a little slower, but I like to have consistency for the black room. It can go really bad. And if it goes bad, you're in deep trouble on Aztec 00. Just three shots is also fine. So I try to charge both these guys. I missed this guy. He didn't group that well. So I'm not going to ignore him. I'm going to go back and try to finish him off. So I'm a little scared now. This is a bad situation. I didn't kill this guy efficiently. These two guards usually run out fine. You can kill them both running at them. They're still grouped well. So I'm going to kill these guards. And this guard's going to be... He's going to beat me because I've been slow. So I'm going to fucking book it for cover around one of these areas as soon as I get these guys. Just get, get out of there, save your health. And then, yeah, he shot. I'm good to kill him. I like to be quiet coming into this section. But the reason is I want to kill this guy with one burst. And I don't want to have these guards alerted yet. Because the threat I use, I use a four guard glass lure. It's the most consistent way i found to do it. Um, you just want to have four guards there, and usually, I'd say 50-50 if you have a good setup. So one burst, reload, kill this guy. This is usually the guy you lure for IL, but I like to kill this guy, and then sh our aimer in and shoot a bunch of shots right over here. This way, these two guards will get lured by the, the shots of fire, and the other two guards will get lured by the noise. So, you don't have to zoom in. I didn't zoom in there, but sometimes they do zoom in. Just to make sure my shots are accurate. Get around the corner. Two quick pauses I find is good. Wait for these guards to come out. Now what I like to do is these two guards get here before the next two. I want these four guards to see me at the same time and animate. So when they come out of animation, they're all running at the same time. This increases chances for glass opening I find. So I lure these guys out, let them animate. This guard came around really fast and I don't like that. So I'm going to come out a bit earlier than normal. Ideally, these four guards are all coming out at the same time. That's like the perfect scenario. So I'm going to let that guard actually shoot me here. This way, all the guards see me, and I take the hit. But I'd rather have a, the guards all see me and animate at the same time. So get to the glass, pause, go to the guidance data. I do this pause. It's You say it's, it's minorly slower to pause there because you're going into the menu. But you have to burn time here, and I like to have that exact time set up based off of the pause rather than guesstimating that she's wanting to do everything the same every run basically and then I run forward into the glass for a few tenths and then leave I go left of this pole run the console and press it even if it opens press it anyways you want to basically have that console as you get to it hit B you want them to be opening at about the same time if that happens the glass opens almost every time because they've all synced perfectly and they got there at the right time so what I like to do here, a couple more quick pauses, to keep building speed, and for some reason, this could be a myth, Clemens myth, but uh, this is an Anderson myth, 
if you switch weapons here after a few tents, I figure this lag from the weapon switch for some reason helps the glass open. I've done it without it, I've done it with it, it's just a superstition thing I think, but it seems to help for me. So I, if I don't do it, it just doesn't seem to work as often. So these are the glasses will open about now. You'll have four guards here. If you only see three, then there's one more around the corner. Unless you've accidentally killed one during the lure, in which case uh, you make note of that, obviously. Um, the one thing here that's really bad that can happen is if they shoot you backwards into this console, you can kill you. And if that console blows up and you don't get out of here in time, it runs over because you can't get through anymore. So, see, I got back there. This guard's here. This is kind of a scary situation. I want to make sure to run forwards. I went around the corner a bit. I don't want this console blowing up. That's, that's key. And once you kill these four guards, you don't have to worry about this glass door closing or anything. This glass door stays open infinitely. Some people don't know that, but it'll never close. So you don't have to rush. The only thing you want to be super fast here about is if you can beat this uh, mainframe from opening, it's a little faster, obviously. But I would say just try get through the guards, keep your health, and uh, that's key. So when you pause here, you've already selected the uh, the pause data or the whatever the, the floppy disk is. So you can just pause and then click and go again. That's one thing nice about pausing earlier is you can save a bit of menuing there. So I mean the pause isn't that bad. You have to menu anyways, you're just doing it ahead of time. And the pause and unpause is pretty much um, just waiting anyways. So you don't actually lose much time pausing for the, the data there earlier. Alright, so we got three, we got everything done. Hopefully here you get a grenade from the beginning of level. It'll help save a few seconds in this next section. If you don't have a grenade, it's not the end of the world. You just have to kill the two drones with your gun. So you shoot this out with a burst. You want to switch to a grenade if you have one. Turns out I don't have a grenade. Not a big deal. But if you do have a... Sorry, excuse me. If you have a grenade, you want to throw it right down the hall in the middle. And then go to the right. Get the body armor and wait for the two drones to blow up. You'll hear them both blow up. And then come around and shoot guards. If it doesn't, like this... You have to come out and kill these drones. See, Dwayne here came out real fast. Usually, a guard will come out just as you get to this intersection. That's expected. That's about normal. Come around the corner. He might be a bit farther down, but you want to shoot this drone first. One burst. See that guard came around the corner. I'm gonna stay around the corner here, let him fire, and then I'm gonna go out. He okay, stopped firing. I'm gonna shoot this thing out, and then I'm go back around to the right. Okay, sometimes it doesn't explode because of weird lag things. He hit me, that's kind of annoying, but uh, this section here, discharge with the air 33. Kill two more guards, three guards. So that might have actually been the, the laser guard I'm going to try to lure out. Usually there's two laser guards, and one doesn't lure out of the big room. I haven't found an efficient way to lure him out yet without luring other guards or wasting time. So if anyone ever finds a better strat for this part, let me know. This is the only thing. It, it's not a huge deal, I don't think, but a few seconds free is a few seconds free. So I shoot a clip right here. The whole clip, PP7, and this is to lure out the laser guard. But he actually came out earlier for some reason. Sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he does, but... I want to use the PP7 to lure him out because I don't want this guard down here lured out with the Air 33. Um, just be expecting a laser guard here. Now this is really important. PP7 here for the two drone kills. Uh, by using the Air 33 or laser, you're going to destroy the glass around them. And if you destroy this glass, it actually affects the other two drones' line of sight. So it's really bad. So it's kind of a bad shot. They're kind of hard to see. But you shoot with yeah, one there and then poke your head out. Shoot the other one here. So you don't want to break any of the glass. The one on this one is not as bad as this one. Because if you shoot this with the Air 33, the glass up here is uh, for these drones... It's really bad. So five shots. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to pick my data thief or my launch data. Uh, don't waste time in the menu like this. I'm just talking to chat. But um, what you're going to do here is uh, build speed. Build full speed on this wall before you come out. It's crucial to have full speed going into this room because you can get clustered in this room. But it's pretty safe with at least full health, full body armor and like half your health. You should live every run. So you're going to make sure to hold full speed. Now I find that if you go too tight on this wall here, 
that you get screwed more by the guards. So I like to come at like the middle of the glass. I find this to be more consistent. The drones aren't going to be shooting at you. So it's more about not getting shot sideways into the mainframe at the insert than picking the perfect line. Because you want to come at this uh, mainframe. You want to kind of run. If you get shot around here, you can't insert through the side of it. It's really stupid. This front is like the hitbox. It's really small. It's just like basically a 2D frame of the front of it. So you want to like approach it farther left and mash Z at it rather than coming at it like right at it in this angle. So I got side boosted there, but I'm still mashing. I still got it. It's it's kind of fucking annoying when you get boosted around there, but just book it back into the vents and then the 30 second counter comes down. Standing here is safe. Um, you don't have to risk it. You can do the YOLO swag strats if you have lots of health and just run by jaws back to being your level. But really, that's just pure swag and you're risking the run. But I'll do it sometimes for fun. If I have, like, full health. But, uh, again, not recommended. Just swag. Say so Most of the time, guards won't even follow you when you've killed them all. Uh, 242 is not great with this strat. I didn't get a grenade. I got a bad black room. Um, usually you get, like, a 3-3x. Um, you can get a 2-2x with this strat. You can do riskier glass lure strats, but I think it's... If your glass is 25% with the, the IL strat and it's 50% with this strat, even though it's maybe 10 seconds slower, I mean, getting through ha double the runs, to me, is worth it because caverns kill so many. You just want to get a decent time on Aztec and move on, I find. But there are riskier strats you can do, but I would recommend this one.